process before we started using Atlassian in the Space Force was that people were using pretty rudimentary tools and they were using pretty manually managed Excel spreadsheets and all sorts of other things that were really difficult for them to manage and you never know what the priority is. In the government, we're talking about building out Jira Confluence for the first time. A lot of these people are, have never seen this tool before. The first time that they've seen Jira or Confluence, it might be really intimidating. It's a pretty complex, fairly flexible system in terms of how do I deploy this and, and doing that for the first time is super intimidating. Jira and Confluence are extremely powerful for the military because of their customizability. What we see a lot of is there are a lot of independent users that have very unique use cases. It's really great to be able to leverage these tools that are super powerful and super customizable so that we can take each individual use case and custom build essentially a new product for each person depending on what their specific needs are. What's important when you try and put together a whole organization strategy is that you look at the overall information that you're trying to collect. So if you look at a larger organization, you start with a concept of, I have end users, I got to teach them to put good data into the system. If they don't put good data in, your whole system's going to suffer. But if you get that good data in at that user level and you architect this with really good plans and designs, that means you're going to have real good alignment across your workflows. You're going to have real good alignment across your data flows. We measure the effectiveness of implementation as we're actually implementing the tools themselves. So before we actually go and start implementing the tools, it's important for us to understand the context for which we're actually applying these tools. And a lot of that has to do with sitting down with the operators themselves and mapping out exactly how much time it takes them to do all of the individual parts of the process itself. Then we have a baseline measurement that we can measure against when we start to introduce these new prototypes to people. We can actually measure what the change is over time and that's something that's very important to leadership is us being able to capture and speak to the increased efficiencies so that they can then espouse these increased efficiencies to other parties that are interested in tracking this transition. At the end user level, What's really interesting is they're able to make their workflows even easier. A government organization we worked with, for example, put in a procurement management tool, and they leveraged Jira service management to do that. What they're looking at is, hey, I've got all these people that are submitting these procurement actions, and they're looking for some way to manage that so that they have levels of approval and levels of management that go into that without buying 100 licenses or teaching everybody how to use project management tool that may not actually need it. What we're able to provide them now is a holistic picture that gives them in real time access to all of this data in one centralized location.